Hi everyone, how are you doing? Moho Etesei, Akwaba to my channel. I've been gone for way too long, but I've been posting shorts though. So, you know, I'm here and not here. But um, as you can see right here, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make silicone wristlet. Is uh, the, this bead is what they use for kids teething um, for kids to teeth on so in this case it's like your kids can chew on it and it will be fine but please don't um, so I'm gonna show you how to make this let's go over the things that you are gonna need you are gonna need a hardware which is this one so you can hook your keys on there you are gonna need a needle a very big one or I see other people use um, hairpins so you can use hair pens, but I am using needle. You are gonna need a lighter, you are gonna need scissors, and you are gonna need a cord of your choice. You can do black, you can do white. Mine is the nylon cord, and you can use elastic, but when you do use the elastic, please stretch the elastic out before you do anything with it. And these are the bees that I am using. Um, I am using the round ones are 19 millimeter um, and the hexagon is 17 mm so this is it I always like you can see I always pick like a print and then I build off but my design is this with a hexagon like the bride and then you know so this is it so this is all the stuff you are gonna need and right now let's string it so take your string Unravel as long as you want. Don't cut it yet. Leave it on here. So please don't ask me how many inches cord you should cut. I am not cutting mine because this cord, it can be pricey. So I try my best not to waste. If you hear any noise in the background, excuse me, everybody's in school except my two year old. So yeah, he's home every now and then. You probably see his hand, but hopefully not. So right here, burn. Let me show you. I already burned it, but I'm going to cut it off. This is nylon cord. It frays very, very quickly. So what you're going to do is you take your lighter, you just burn it, and then you have that. So what I'm going to do is exactly how it is. I am using this mat that I got from Michaels, and it is it was $3. It was on sale, but you can get it at Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, um, Amazon any craft store should have this so just like so I am going to string it just like I have when I this mat my bees don't roll away it just stays and I can play with the design right I can play with the design so just like how I have it I'm going to string it and I am using in total 16 beads so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 I'm using 16 I'm using 8 of the solid and 5 of the print 1 2 3 4 5 and 3 hexagon in total is 16 if you're using a smaller beads because they have a, fifth, a 15 also if you're using smaller beads of course you're gonna need more but I'm using 19 so I need 16 so let's string it and just like so this is how you string it just like that just like this string it all all to here so I am done stringing my cord is still on it I haven't cut it yet I am going to leave it I am going to push it just a little bit so I have more room to pull it and this is it so if you are happy with how your design looks and this is how mine looks I like it this way don't forget now I put my you hear my baby okay sorry <laughs> so now you put your hardware on it just like that okay I've seen other people make space and then they string it like that so it becomes like this in the middle but I don't like it I like mine to move like that so this is it right now this is how I tie it tying it is like uh, tying your shoelace that's that's basically it so right there I cross it I bring the one that is short this is way too long so I'm gonna pull it back like I said the cord can be pricey so I try my best not to waste it 
so bring it the one that is on in my left right hand I'm gonna bring it under and bring it out wrap it around wrap it around and pull it pull it as tight as you can it will not break trust me this cord will not break so right there there you go look how pretty and then you put your hands in and that is it all right so it's good it's good so now I can go ahead and if you put it around your wrist and you feel like it's too loose you can take some of the beads off if you feel like it's too tight you can add more so once I have it this way I bring it out again the one just like that and then I pull it pull it as tight right now how I know my beads will not get loose very quickly is if I do this and if this come apart you see it here you see it came apart so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo the knot and then tie it again okay so sorry I forgot I was recording so I have done the cord again and I have pulled it as tight as I can this thing right here is called knot gripper I did not mention it because it's not necessary you don't need it but if you are going to do this as a business then I so I think you do need it because it is it will help you tighten your cord and you don't have to hurt your finger so just like that this is how the knot gripper works and then you pull it as tight as you can all right so just like that now if i do this nothing falls apart so this is where the needle is gonna come from you burn it if you cut whenever you cut this cord please don't forget to burn it please because you don't want your customer or the person using it use it and then it falls apart it's that fraying especially when water touches it so just like that right you string your needle you fold it just like so it will you see the hole right there right there put your needle through push it down let's move this push it down just like so get a plier you are gonna need a plier because it gets really really slippery so get a plier pull it out pull it out pull it out just like so okay then you pull it you see so once you pull it pull it in And now I'm gonna pull it in pull it tight you see what is happening is you are pulling the knot inside the bead so you can see now my knot that I tied is now inside the bead so here we are almost done you can take it like so cut this off as close as you can but not too close where you can burn it Just like that you see and it's in you don't see any knot you don't see any cord and this is the other half of the cord take your scissors again cut it as close be careful you are not cutting the string the, okay so burn it again whenever you cut please burn if and only if you are using a last I mean the nylon cord don't worry I am not burning the so right there you see now I can shape it to make it a very nice circle don't worry if it doesn't look perfect like this because we are using two different um, shapes right we are using two different shapes so this is it um, I'm sorry the video is long I try to make it as um, you are here with me so you understand so if this is it this is it look this is it you right now I just made two it doesn't take that long but here you go these are the two that I made if you enjoyed this video please please give it a thumbs up um, subscribe and if 
this is something you are interested in tell your friends about it share it i'm gonna be doing more of the beads i'm gonna be doing lanyards and keychains and explaining how things goes and let's see where the channel takes us now so thank you so much and have a great day bye